Now in showbiz, it's rare to find someone without whom a bad word can be said. However, it's certainly true of this week's final guest. Two years before her coronation as Queen of the Jungle, she won the nation's heart and the X Factor, and today she's a primetime presenter, willing her guests to sing if they can. However, when Keith Lemon is your co-host, that's easier said than done. Ah, it's Stacey Solomon! <laughs> They say you should never work with children and animals, and you've got the, well the childlike mentality of keeping them in there. cave. <laughs> Yeah. And, a, and a very watery leg to terrapin. Oh my god, that thing and the wee. I'm not going to lie, it stunk. I've <laughs> <laughs> like, oh got anything that's like 100 percent alcohol <laughs> or bleach. I love your hair. So I do. It's just gorgeous. Oh, oh, oh. Do you know what? I've had enough of extensions. <laughs> I'll say that next week. <laughs> You'll see my hair down to my bum. <laughs> Was that no. not your hair then? No. Well, I did have long hair on my first yeah. audition. And then they cut it off, you know, they got to do an edgy new style. <laughs> Why didn't you just cut it all off? <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I thought, oh no, I look hideous. So I put all extensions in. I've had extensions for about two, just under two years, just since the middle of X Factor. And you know when you start brushing your hair and you're like... <laughs> Oh, I, feel very I couldn't get. I just couldn't get a brush through it. Every time I washed it, I had my fingers caught in there. I'd be like, hello, <laughs> someone help. <laughs> it's lovely now. So we like gone. you in your oh. natural state. Oh. And um, you're here today because you have got your story so far out, and you're very keen to stress this is not your autobiography. No. Set on the twelfth of May. This is just merely the uh, the story of your first the diary twenty-one of years me. on this earth. Exactly. The short time I've lived on this earth. <laughs> I don't think I warrant an autobiography yet. So it's everything so far, like everything. You know when you ask someone, oh, what's the best day of your life? People go, oh, I don't know. It's all been good. And you think, oh, come on, there's got to be more. You must have more to say about giving birth, getting married. But no, my mum's always like, I can't remember. I think, oh, for God's sakes, I never want to get like that, ever. So uh, is it done like a diary then? Is it day to day? It's not, and... it's not like day one, day two, right. but it is just like everything in, in depth so when people say oh how's your son and how's the birth you always say oh it's lovely fine perfect and then you think oh my god no it wasn't well, you had you had horrendous depression same as me didn't you I hate saying that, though. I hate saying I had postnatal depression because... Why? Because I just don't know. I think everyone must get a little bit miserable. No, but it's a really serious give... condition, you know, and I, if, if you do talk about it, oh, I think that's fine. It sounds I find to it really me like hard, you had think... it, Stace, because you find it very hard to bond with your son and accept that you were a parent. It was just you were so young. Was... You know when you think, like, oh, what do I do? Yeah. Like, that is the first thing, like, what do I do with this thing? And you only think, it's attached to me. Like, I'm a, I'm a human cow. That, that's all it wants me for, is that. And you know, and you think, I can't see my friends. My life is over. <laughs> it wasn't, oh, but that's so all young. you see. I, but I, I can be honest, I don't remember anything happening in, in that period of my life. Like, everything at that time was just nothing. How old were you? Um, 18. 18? Yeah. So writing about it, did it help you then? I think it made me realise what I was going through. When I look back, usually I just look back and think nothing. I just think, yep, yeah, it was lovely, nothing. Oh my God, do you have to? <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty oh, picture, no. isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, Stace. Put on a few pounds. How did you manage to remember everything then? Because it's quite difficult unless you... My you mum keep... was with me and my mum was reminding me of things. And I remember people used to come round with baby grows and I was just, just think, baby grows? Like, why, what, what has he done? <laughs> why does he get present? <laughs> Stay! Oh. Pushed him out of me! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but, you know, those, those, are quite, those are quite normal feelings that a lot of people don't admit to them. Oh, no, I felt so you, stupid. But you really do love Zach now. And you're oh, my God, I've always loved him. He's just won Celebrity Mum of the Year, oh, haven't you? He is the best thing that's ever happened to me. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. He's gorgeous. Do you, know, do you know, I was shocked reading your book that you were a nightmare teenager. Oh. I cannot imagine. Your mum and dad got rid of you for six months, <laughs> didn't they? They shipped you off. They always say to me, they say to me, why are you so nice now? What about the old days that they had to deal with me when I was at my worst <laughs> and now to everyone else I'm like, you were skiving, oh you were my drinking. God. You oh, did pick oh the worst God. did you? <laughs> <laughs> That's not you. That's me. Oh, I had braces, glasses, a lot. <laughs> it's, good, it's, it's good to hear that you were a bit 
bad at one time oh, because you know, you're so, you know, you, everybody loves you. You never, oh. you haven't got a bad word to say about anybody either. I don't have think you? I did back then. I just was, just was silly. Like I remember people used to say, "Oh, sit down in your chair." I go, "No, <laughs> just stand <laughs> here and eat crisps." Like, like it's okay to eat. And but didn't you used silly. to skive off with bottles of cider or something? Yeah, well, when, when you were little, as if no one, everyone went normal. over the park that's with the white teenage. lining. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> it was only Some of us still are eating. <laughs> yes, I love it. It's so cheap. I love it. Exactly. You back in the day, you could go out of a firefight. God, now I struggle with like. 15 pounds. I know that doesn't sound like a lot. But when you think about it, you'd have your pound for your bottle of cider, two pounds for the chip butty, <laughs> <laughs> and then another two pounds for anywhere you want to go on the bus, 40p. <laughs> it was such a good time. Because you know, you, you, you've, you've, got quite a, you've got quite a, a distinguished Essex accent. Yeah. Um, what do you think of the thing we were talking um, to Sarah about, the Cheryl Cole thing, about her, great that she's got the job, but is she going to have to adapt? I don't think she will. I think, so. I think instead of accents, it's more things that you talk about. Like, you know, Americans say pants, whereas to me, that's like underwear. And I think, and they say, oh, nice pants. I think, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can see my pants? I think it's more those well, you kind of things. you know what they call a bum? Uh, a fanny. That's right. <laughs> Isn't it? Or a butt. That That's makes what I was me going cringe. for. <laughs> <laughs> They call, what they call a fringe, they call them bangs. Yeah. Really? So that's why we can't understand, yeah. But it's the same up north. Like, when I was, when I first met Joe McKeldry, I remember saying, oh, I'll have a saveloy. He was like, what's a saveloy? I said, well, you don't get saveloys. The only thing I think about when I walk into the fish shop is a saveloy. And like, up north, they don't have saveloys. No. So I think it's different everywhere. And you don't have peas pudding either, which we can't understand in Newcastle. Or chips and gravy. Yeah, chips and gravy. fish, chips and gravy. Yeah, they don't that? have that down no. here. No. Well, but stays, I do like a bit good of gravy. Good luck with the autobiography. Oh, thank you. Um, well, it's not an autobiography, <laughs> uh, but it is out on the 12th of May. We love having you here. Just oh, stay as you are, because she is beautiful, isn't she? Stay yeah. as you are. Yeah.